Morgan with Event Answer here, and today I want to show you how to make these adorable lace crowns. They come together really simply, and you can do so many different things with them. They're great for pretend play for young children, but they also make great party decorations. I usually use these at a birthday party, but they would be great for a baby shower as well. So let me walk you through how to make the crowns and how to turn this into a party activity that kids can decorate. To make the crowns, I'm using 2 inch wide lace that has a really strong pattern to it. You want to pick a lace that has some thicker threads in it so that it can stand upright once we add the stiffener to it. So compare this lace which has a lot of netting and not a lot of strong pattern to it, this isn't going to stand up very well in a crown. So as you're looking at the laces in the store, pick something that has a really defined pattern and you could even choose a wider lace if you'd like a taller crown. So I'm using about 13 inches of this lace and I'm more interested in picking a length that will overlap the pattern of my lace more so than the actual length of this. So I've got about 13 inches here of lace, I've got a little bit of water as well as some Elmer's glue and we're going to mix those two together and that will be our stiffener for the crown. In addition to that I've also got a paintbrush to help with the glue process and mixing up the glue. A soda pop bottle that's two liters and that will give me my form for the crown and this box to just catch excess glue as the crowns dry. I've already cut my lace into 13 inch segments and I'm going to take my glue now and have one part glue to one part water and stir that all up and that will make my stiffener. Now I know you can do this with uh, spray starch but I didn't have a lot of luck with that so I decided to go with this watered down glue. I found that it gave me a really good consistency and stiffness to the lace but it wasn't so thick that it left glue residue in the holes between the lace design. So I'm going to just mix these two together and prepare my setup for making my crowns. So I'm just gonna lay the two liter bottle on the side of the edges of the box and get this all prepared so that once I've got my lace all gluey, I can go right from the cup onto the bottle. So I'm gonna take my entire piece of lace and dunk it completely into the glue and let it really soak up that medium. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and squeegee off as much of that excess glue as possible. We really don't want that glue lingering in the holes of the lace. And so I'm gonna do my best to really tightly wring that between my two fingers until I've got the entire thing squeegeed out and then we're gonna lay it right on top of the soda bottle. I chose this two liter bottle as my form because it gives me a crown that's about four inches across which I think is really great size for a child but if you wanted a larger crown you could always pick something else that's wider to give you a different form. I'm wrapping the lace all the way around the bottle and I really want to focus on the pattern of the lace and make sure that it aligns really well and that way it'll be a seamless look once this crown has dried. I also want to watch this right hand side, the flat side of the lace, and make sure that it's pretty straight on the bottle and not weaving back and forth because that means the bottom of my crown won't be flat. So I just want to make sure this is all secured really well and then I'll set it aside to dry for a couple hours. Or you can speed up this process by setting these in front of a fan or hitting it with a hair dryer. Now I'm just going to put this on a low heat setting and blow this and it'll dry almost completely. Now if for some reason the ends of your crown come loose, you can always re-glue those ends back together using some white glue, super glue, or even hot glue. Once the crowns are dry, it's time to decorate. Now this is where you can go a lot of different directions. If I were just going to use these as a party decoration, I would break out some gold spray paint and just hit the whole thing with gold spray paint and call it done. But if you'd like to make this an activity or get your children involved in this, this is a great time to do that. I'll be using some acrylic paints here. One is metallic gold and the other is a glitter paint. And I've got some plastic rhinestones in different shapes and sizes that can be glued onto the crown as well. So I'm gonna start off by applying a light coat of paint to all of my crowns first. And I just put a little bit of that metallic gold into a cup and I'm just gonna dab at my lace, putting a nice light coat on the entire thing. Now I'm using gold, but you could always pick a silver or a metallic blue or pink, whatever designs your heart desires you can run with on these crowns. So I'm just gonna go all the way around with the gold 
let that dry for a few minutes and then come back with my glitter paint. Now there's no base color in this paint, it's just a clear medium with the glitter in it. And I so prefer this than putting loose glitter on top of the paint. Uh, glitter just gets everywhere and you can never get rid of it. So if I can avoid loose glitter, I do. And this was a great way to do this. It stuck really well to the crown, gives you that sparkly effect without all the mess. You may notice while you're painting your crown will soften up a little bit, but don't worry, once the paint dries the glue will also re-dry and stiffen up again. Now I'm also painting this freehand, but you could always leave these on the soda pop bottles and paint them right on that so you don't have to worry about crushing your crown. Now's the time to bejewel all of these crowns. So I've got a couple different sizes in these rhinestones and I'm gonna be using a cool tint hot glue gun. Now you can totally let kids use this if you're comfortable with that. If you're not, you could always go with glue dots or use Elmer's glue to glue these on or you can buy rhinestones that have a sticky back on them already which if I were gonna do this as a party activity for kids, I would just go that route and then they can just stick them wherever they want. The crowns I'm making today, I'm just gonna center my gemstones right on the peaks of my lace using my hot glue gun. But honestly, let your imagination run wild with this and do whatever colors and shapes suit you. Once I've got all of my crowns bedazzled, I'm gonna add a little bit of elastic to the sides of those so that these are wearable. Now you could always use bobby pins or clips or just set it on top of your head, but if you'd like to be able to secure it to your head with some elastic, I'm just gonna cut about a 10 inch piece of it and tie it directly to my crown. Now this may vary depending on the age of the child or the guests, so I would cut these on an as needed basis for each child just so you can know that it'll fit them. This elastic does come in different colors, so if you wanted to get gold elastic, that does exist. But I just picked up white here real quick, and I'm going to fold my crown in half a little bit so I can find the side points of it. And I'm just going to tie this on, but you could always glue these in place as well. My lace has big enough holes that I can put my elastic through it, um, but if yours is, is narrower or a finer mesh, you could use glue just fine. So I'm just going to tie this on, and this crown is ready for wearing. I hope you are inspired by today's video and give this project a try. I love inspiring kids to be creative in lots of different ways and if I can do a few simple steps ahead of time that allow kids to be creative during a party, I am all for that. So if you enjoyed this project, please give the video a like, it lets me know that you've enjoyed today's content and until the next time, you can check out some of the videos over here. I do all kinds of party decorations, balloon tutorials, and all kinds of event and party tips. So until the next time, remember to stay creative. See ya!